Hi everyone, Marion Emberson here. Um, <laughs> where have I been? Oh, honestly, I just lost my mojo. I just lost it completely. Um, I'm just like you guys. Um, then I've been ill and then I've had my grandchildren and you know, life just takes over. And every time I kept thinking, right, I must do a video, must do a video. I just couldn't think of anything. And I'm still really struggling, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm going to go back to just one of my old favourites, like a set of dies that I like to use and just a, a card that I've sort of shown before, but just using different products. So I wanted to show you guys these. These are the new MMAs from WOW. Um, yes, it's got my name on it. Um, MMAs, Mixed Media Additives. So you can actually put these in. Let me give you a bit of a close-up. Hang on. Let's show you what they're like. Yeah, so they're little... I don't know what they're made from, actually. <laughs> um, they're just little pieces. <laughs> they won't melt. So you can put them in embossing powder, give it a really good shake, tap it out, and then you've got it mixed in with your embossing powder. You can put it in paste. Um, I'm going to show you it on some double-sided adhesive, just really sort of quick and simple. Um, and at the moment, there's only two colours. There's the Harlequin, which is the mixed one, and then this one is Dragon Scales, which is a really deep, deep sort of forest green, which is just lovely. And I was thinking, I really must use these and show you guys like how I like to use them. Um, and I just thought these are just going to be perfect with it. So these are probably not even available anymore. They may be, but you can use any leaf dye. If they are available, I will put some links in the video description um, just to help you. You can go have a look, see if you like them or not. Um, but yeah, let's... Um, yeah, let, let me just dive in. So basically, I've got my lovely well cardstock that I've folded into a card panel, like a card base, sorry, not a panel. See, can't even talk. Um, and then I've got a couple of the same pieces of the well card, one that I'm going to use for die cutting and one I'm going to use for using these on here. And then obviously I've got my leaf mixed die set. They also do... Oh, there's another one. If I can find it, I'll link both. because A tropical one, I think they call it, which is just different styles, basically. Um, I'm going to be using this. Look, I've used this so much, honestly. So I'll see how many I can get. One, probably two, three, maybe four. I'll, I'll see if I can get. But I think three would work nice along there because it's, it's a nice size. Yeah, that would that would work nice actually. Three, and then I'm gonna use probably let's have a look. Maybe that one. I might just use two of those. I should really look at the front. Oops. I love it when I've got a lot of use out of something. Hmm. I might go one of those in the middle, and then one of those on there. What one do I want? I want that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, let me go there. Or I might even do three of those. I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, the other thing, whoops, making lots of noise, sorry. The other thing I've got is some double-sided adhesive. This is long form. Um, this one, I mean, I'm not doing any actual heat work with this, so it doesn't really matter. But I do love the Lawn Fawn, the Elizabeth Crafts, scrapbook.com. They're all heat resist as well. So if I was going to emboss with them, it would be perfect. But in this instance, I'm not. So I've got my two MMAs, my Harley Quinn and my Dragon Scales. And then I'm also going to use the Brilliant Silver Sparkles as well, which will become apparent in just a moment. I'm just going to get myself some paper. And then, actually, if I've got it big enough, so I've got one, two, oh, I reckon I can squeeze three out of that. I just found this scrap piece <laughs> on the floor. I don't know why it was on the floor. Um, and I thought, oh, yeah, OK, I'll use that. Right, so I'm just going to peel it off, pop it on my cardstock. Go like so. And then... 
just going to peel this bit off. So then I've got my double-sided showing through. Keep hold of these bits for a minute. I'm shaking this one because it's got a mixture of colours in there. And then I'm just going to, well, actually, I might just pinch, pinch and sprinkle. The nice thing with this is that they're a nice size, but if as you pinch and sprinkle, you squeeze them together, you can make smaller pieces. So just by giving it a good little rub together, you can get smaller bits out of it. So just pinch and sprinkle. And I'm just going to, if you, also if you just dump it out as well, it will look like so. So I'm going to, and I think I might just, oops, if I go a bit more over here. And then I'm going to take this, this is the top bit, and just push that in. So I'm pushing them in there, pushing them into the double sided. And then pick this back up. And then now I'm going to. Give that a shake off and you can be quite firm with it now take any like loose bits off of here because you don't want it um going into the next color because i'm going to go over again this time with the dragon scales so i get a nice sort of like mix of the, the three colors even though it's only two pots if that makes sense who else loses their mojo honestly I really, really was getting frustrated with myself. I carried on making some of my jewellery because I, I need to do something creative because my mind makes me do that. Um, but it come to this and I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Get rid of that. I'm going to just give this a flick over the bin just to trash cans for all my North American friends. And then this one, see I shake everything, I don't know why. This time I'm just gonna go over entirely with this. Du, 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 du. Cover, cover, cover. And again, take this and push in. Get that all squashed into that double-sided adhesive. And shake off. Right, I'm just gonna lift these bits off. Oh, I've got one little loose bit of the dragon scales in there. Okay, throw this back. Oh, there's another bit. Oh, oh, oh. Another bit. Teely part of it. Okay, now throw this back in there. You can also put paint on really thick and give it a slap with your... Um, palette knife so it gives it texture and then you can throw them on there and it will dry into the paint there's so many different ways okay i'm just going in again and just sort of like pushing down and now look so i've loosened a few more bits and that's fine i'm just going to take those off and because i've got a few more bits there i'm just going to pop those in the bin they don't really matter you get so much in here right i want to give it oh yeah <laughs> one more flick i was going to say just want to get any more loose bits off because <clears throat> if i bring this up excuse me my little cough there if i bring that up you can see there's still white showing through and that's just because of the size of the particles it's not covering it all entirely that's where this guy comes in. This is the Brilliant Silver. You can use any any glitters. This is the Well Sparkles glitter. And I'm just going to go in and cover it. Fill it all up. And that now is going to sit onto the double-sided adhesive and cover it. And also it just makes it look really pretty. So just gentle little tap. If any bits come off, then I can just pick them off. Go a little bit harder. I think I've got one little bit come off there. And that's fine. I can deal with that. But that has filled in all those areas now. And it just looks really, really pretty. So let me just give that a flick. Okay. 
So now if I bring this guy up, you can see that it's filled all those bits in. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to die cut these. I'm probably going to put a piece of, she says, looking around for a piece as she searches aimlessly. There's a piece. Probably going to put a piece of um, parchment paper in between the die and that, just so that it helps it go through. So I'm just going to use my Sizzix machine, um, me roller thing, <laughs> can't think. <laughs> cut three out and then I'll be back. Oh, and then while I'm there, I might as well cut these out as well. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So, oh, there's me bits of, do you know, I love these bits that get left from the parchment paper. Because I always think like you could actually use those as well. Look how gentle that looks. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder if it needs to go that way. Do, do, do. Yeah. It's just lovely. Anyway, that's for another day. When I get more mojo back. <laughs> so, it's like, let's just move those out of the way. So... Okay, so I've got two of those and one of those. And I'm just, I'm going to do it really, really simple. And I just feel like I need to do things like this just to get my my mojo back, basically. Let's just make sure I'm doing it around the right way. I can always manipulate that. Yep, that's okay. So is that the right way? That's the right way. And that one is the right way okay so i'll start off i've still got a few little loose bits coming but that's okay that's all right i can just give them a little flick beforehand it's amazing actually like how much work goes into like it all pushes it down in the machine as well and but i did put a lot on there so that's fine so let me just go in with the centre one first, give or take. I'm just going to do it by eyeball. I haven't used my belly arts for ages. <laughs> Hope it ain't dried up. <laughs> so it's just do do do. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. Oh, look at that. Oh no. Okay, let's give that a bit more of a a stab. Honestly, I haven't done anything for ages. And even the last video that you would have seen, that would have been done before, obviously, it comes out. I haven't done a live for ages. I, I need to get back into things. This summer has been very, very, very busy. Okay, let's just go like so. So I could do them coming. Oh, here I go, here I go. Right, do I want to go like that? I want to go like that. Mm, that looks nice, doesn't it? What about if I done that, 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 and that, and then just got my. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to do that. I need to get these fluffy bits off. Coming out the die. Get those fluffy bits. So let's just. I'll stick this one down first. I'll just go in and do little bits on there. Oop. I could go in and do it on my back of my hand and pick up bits there. So let's just stick that down. Just use that just to hold that down. Looks nice. And then come in with this. Don't need loads of glue. And just come off like so. Oh, it sort of resembles, is it a lotus flower when it's like that? But the texture that these MMAs give are just amazing. They really are brilliant. Like, and that's why they're called mixed media additives because they're just brilliant in mixed media all your translucent pastes all your translucent adhesives glue and seal even and you know things like that so okay 
And then let's just put, that one's going to go there. I don't mind if it comes off a bit, actually. That one can go there. <sighs> I think I will go on my hand for this because it's fiddly otherwise. Let's just go around and then tap, tap, tap. Pick it up on these bits. And then stick that down like so. Super. Tap, tap, tap. And then same one here. Stick that down. Give it all a nice little push into it. Get rid of me excess, very messy. <laughs> oh dear, get rid of all those bits. And then I should have, oh, I've already got, let's have a look. Have I got them the right sort of size? Have a look, fit there, fit there. Ah, oh, do you know what? I was going to do a bit of paint splattering. That's why I got them out as well. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right, so if I just put that there, that, oh, no, wrong way, there. And I should have another. Right, I can't find the other leaf cutter. It's dropped on the floor in amongst all the other mess. Let's just move this over. So I will leave these here. I'll do that side and then I'll move that over and do that side. So let's get a little bit of colour. I'm going to use Daydream and Lime Ricky, which is really running out. I've got to put some more, do a re-inker on that. A little bit of water. And then I'm just going to pick up a bit with my brush, do splats. I'll get a baby wipe just to clean my brush off and then pick up some of this colour. And if you feel you're always going in the same direction, turn your card around. Okay, and now, I'll take, I'll leave that one there, take that one off. It doesn't matter if it gets it in a few places, but see mine tend to all go that way. And then let's go back in. Oh, mix that a little bit. Hey ho. Oh, big splats, big splats, little bit splats. A little bit more over there. You can sort of control where it goes. I always think when I do things like this, it looks a bit diseased. It's like <laughs> I've got my world too much. And then that can, I'll just let that dry and then I'll pop that on there. <sighs> and it might not be my best card, <laughs> it might not be the most amazing card out there. Um, but I've got a little bit of mojo back. Not a lot, not a lot. I need to, I feel like I need to go through lots of my supplies because I know I've got supplies that I bought a little while ago and I still haven't used. Who does that? Who else does that? Please tell me I'm not alone by doing that. Um, anyway, let me just give this a, a little blow. I don't think this is going to affect it. If I just peel this off. So yeah, I'm not sure when the next video will be. Hopefully not too long. I might even try and knock another one out after this while I'm feeling a little bit. All right, let's just pop that there. Thanks for being my person. Love that. And there we go. Let's bring that up. I actually think that looks quite impressive, <laughs> if I say so myself, not too bad. 
I might have gone a bit overboard on the splatting. It's like, you know, but you got to try these things, haven't you? I haven't splatted for so long. And I thought to myself, mm, do a bit of splatting. Um, anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, I hope to see you on another one. I hope I don't leave it so long next time. I do have a little idea um, in my head of another one. So I might knock that out because hubby's watching football. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll get back into the swing of making videos. <laughs> so thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.